We just want to be left alone and get on with our job. We don't want to be here on strike. We want to be out there doing our job what we love, uh, serving the people of Farrak. We're not asking for a pay rise. We never have done, you know. We, we just want our terms and conditions to stay the same. The council keeps saying this is all about triple pay for bank holidays, but there's a lot more stoppages in their proposals than they're not ad admitting to, to anyone. Anybody below supervisor level is affected by this. Care workers, social workers. I see from the GMB that one care is losing £7,000 a year. Their money ain't great as it is. Basically anyone who uses their car for, for, for work purposes uh, stands to lose their business user allowance, which is a big part of their uh, pay. Me personally, I'm going to lose over £4,000 a year. We have catch-up hours that they want to stop. We have vehicle maintenance, that's over £2,700 a year. We've always done it as half hour overtime in the morning. So the lorry's ready to go out when the loaders start work. But now they want us to all start work at six o'clock. We start the same time as the loaders. By the time I've done the checks and gone out and done the site work, it's an hour. Those two people sat around doing nothing. So they're losing more in man hours than they are gonna actually, they're gonna save by not giving me the half hour overtime. So they're not managing it. I've come back here before after having a couple of breakdowns one day. If I break down, I can't complete my work. Instead of saying, right, use a, use a finish, go and do a couple of road trims so we can get the work complete, I've seen three crews being allowed to go home. Basel and Council have 56 people on over £50,000 a year, and Forrest's got something like 200. Do we really need all these top managers earning all that money? To, to, run a, to run the service into the ground and make people poorer. This is an attack on all key workers, uh, workers who worked through the pandemic. Back in March last year, we were all asked to carry on as normal. Three people in the cab and, and, and we didn't get masks until uh, October. The work got a lot, lot heavier during the pandemic. I, my, my round personally, we couldn't finish it. The lorries couldn't take the weight, so they had to put another lorry out just to keep pick up the extra work. We haven't had the lorries cleaned properly, we do it all ourselves. There was an air of fear amongst everyone. You could see it in their faces, you know, as we entered into the unknown of the pandemic, uh, picking up people's bins with, with uh, contamination from maybe COVID uh, positive people, you know. We all thought we was gonna lose someone. It was that serious. We had some people that were really seriously ill. And I remember one fella said to me that uh, he, he was uh, that bad on a Sunday. He was on his way to the hospital and he, and he, and he said to his wife, he don't think he's gonna make it through the day. We remained focused on our job and, and, and we carried on doing it. We can't back down to this because they do this, next year there'll be another lot of cuts. There's things they put in their original proposal that they've taken off of the table for now. And if they, they get away with these ones, they'll be back next year for the other ones. Like the rate of overtime they pay and all the other allowances they pay. The morale here is brilliant at the moment. If it takes us five months, we'll stay out for five months. If it takes longer, we'll stay out longer.